wanted to put this out to both of you first because I'm not actually sure how much you got to work with this legend on the set, but of course there's a great tribute to the equally great Norm Macdonald. And I know, Penny, you actually got at least one scene with this individual at one point, but you've both worked with uh, national treasures as far as this Canadian is concerned. You've worked with Keanu, you've worked with Nathan Fillion. So I wanted to ask, what about Norm made him one of the great ambassadors for Canada? Well, first of all, Norm did not um, put himself out there as just one one type of person. Um, he was there for everyone. And I've known, I've known of him for many years, and I met him many, many years ago because we worked together on The Larry Sanders Show. Uh, but I didn't put that together until recently when I was watching uh, old Larry Sanders episodes and I realized, oh my gosh, I did work with Norm. One thing about Norm, I have to say, is uh, when he was around on the Orville, he just loved being ridiculous. And he was okay with being ridiculous. And he was easy going. He wasn't one of those guest stars who came in with any demands. It was like, oh, okay, we're going to do this. And, uh, you, you know, Seth is going to say that. He was just a cool dude. And I had, f I truly had a lot of fun with him. And it's just as, a, as an actor and a comedian, he really paved the way for himself in a very unique way. I and mean, there's nobody like him. That voice, he's very, he was very special. Yeah, one of a kind, for sure. Adrian, I um, wanted to ask you, you've played a Marvel superhero. You've played Wonder Woman, but on the, the threat of the Orville, uh, why would you consider Kelly to be the strongest character you've played? You know, I think that she has a, a very deep uh, strength, just emotionally and mentally. I think that that's the difference, you know, um, some of these other elements, a little bit more physical. She does have her moments of being physical and a badass, but she's, she's centered within herself. And I think that she's kind of become the, the mother to the ship and, um, everybody comes to, to her with their problems. So she has to be strong because she has to keep it together for everybody else. Otherwise, everything would fall apart. <laughs> you know what? I have to say the, the, the episode uh, 303 that got me, that totally told me who Kelly is, is when they were trying to get out and everyone's tried everything and Kelly just picks up her gun and she tries, she, she aims it and it's like, okay. We're going to figure this one out. For some reason, that moment just told me everything about Kelly. <laughs> it's very true. Thank you. <laughs> well, Penny, I, what I love about both Claire and, and, and Kelly is that they're never afraid to advocate for themselves. They're strong women, never afraid to advocate what they need as women, um, whether it's professionally, personally, even having seen the premiere episode of season three, which, by the way, what a tremendous performance by you. Uh, and the cast. I think that's a, one of the best shows that the Orville has done. Um, do you still feel like there's something that Claire perhaps needs to advocate more? Does she need to change something? Is there a little bit that you go, man, she still needs to do this? Or do you think she's a fairly complete individual? I think no one is ever complete. And I think one uh, in beautiful thing about this season, uh, not just for Claire, but for all of us, is that there's so much going on in the world and and we are taking those situations and we are showing them we're, sh we're throwing them right at you in the orville and that alone tells you that you're not complete because the world keeps changing and as long as there is change and you must know that you must be prepared to change with it because if you don't it's time to check out. When you're complete, I, I believe, I don't want to get into this whole spiritual thing, but I believe when your job is complete, God lets you just check out. So I never want to be complete as a person and I never want my characters to be complete because that's when they can kill you off and <laughs> you, know, you just don't come back. So there's much, much more, much more growth to be That's make it boring. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. And it's what makes this show fantastic in both of your characters. So, ladies, thank you so much for your time and best of luck with season three. And thank, thank you. you. And I love the boat because I knew you were going to You heard that, did you? Because you gave it away. <laughs> Don Kassar, our director, yes. <laughs> love it. 
Hey Real Students, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to Real School, click that round Real School logo right beside me. Also click that damn notification bell so you're aware of all of Real School's new content. You can follow me on Twitter and of course, if you get anything out of Real School, you can always give a little back. Just click the link in the description below or the button down there and you can become part of my Patreon team.